So now that we've gone over some of these rules of thumbs and things to pay attention to when taking a photo, the next is interacting with your subject. And there's a couple different factors that come into this because you don't always have control over where your subject will be and what the lighting will be. So when it comes to placing your subject, there's sort of two scenarios with this. One scenario is that your subject is not going to move, that your subject is where you have to move around it and decide really, okay, well, where's the sun? Where's my light coming from? How do I want that to fall on my subject? What background do I want? Um, and what am I really able to get? Because sometimes you might want the shot that requires you to be on top of a building and more than likely you won't be able to get up there. So it's really figuring out what you're able to do, what you want in the background, and sometimes you won't be able to get it and you have to you know, make some sacrifices. The other sort of scenario is that you're at an event and you, you don't have control of your subject and your subject's going to constantly be moving. And it's here where you really need to know your perspective, know your rule of thirds, know what's in the background, know your environment really, and in that way you can move around and know that, oh well, I never want to show that area. So I'm always going to be coming from that area, looking this way to get my photo. And dependent on where your subjects are moving, you'll know that you'll always have the background you want and not looking in a direction that you don't want to look. Um, this can be really tricky because sometimes you can miss moments that you wish you had gotten, but this is a big lesson to learn. You can't always have your camera. You can't always be in the place you want to be and you have to let that go and get the next shot. Get one that maybe surprises you, that's better than you thought it could be. And that's a big lesson because I know there's been plenty of times where like, oh man, if only I had been over there or if only I had captured that moment. But you can't dwell on that. You have to move on and get the next moment. So another situation that you can get yourself into is you get to choose where your subject is. You get to work with someone, interact with someone and say, oh well, let's try this, let's try that. And it's those moments that can be really fun because you get to decide, oh well, maybe she can get lower or he can get more to the right or more to the left. And you can place your subjects where you want them to be. And this is really one of the most difficult situations because you're making the decision. It's no longer you trying to capture a moment, it's you saying, I want this photo and I want you know, my subject to be here and here and that's because of what? What is your reason behind that? And it's whether it's the lighting, the background, or simply that you want one subject closer to frame and one subject farther away from frame. And this is really the big creative process where you get to make the decision and ultimately create a photograph in your own eyes. And also when choosing where your subject's going to be, you have to give some direction and this is a huge learning curve and where a lot of creatives I've found have some difficulties because you have to really talk with someone and make them comfortable. You know, it's not the easiest thing to be in front of the camera and if you're just focused on what is your photo and your camera settings and all these things, they're just sort of standing there and you have to be able to interact with them and talk with them and make them comfortable so that they're not feeling nervous or anxious about being in front of the camera. So be sure to talk with your subject, maybe talk about your inspirations and you know what type of photo you're trying to create here and make them comfortable. And this is really you know an art in itself and a reason that a lot of photo shoots you'll have the photographer and you'll have a director or you'll have a producer or you'll have someone else there to sort of talk with the subject and take their mind off of the fact that there's a camera pointed at them. So remember that when choosing where your subject's going to be or deciding where you're going to be to capture that special moment, that you have your eyes open and that you're not glued to your camera, but you're really using your environment, looking around, seeing what's around your subject, what you want to be around your subject, and also what lenses are going to be most beneficial for that space. If you're going to be at an event and you can't get close to your subject, bring a big telephoto zoom. If you're going to be working with people that you want to work with and being able to control the situation, find the focal length that you enjoy working with and stick that one on your camera. It's really about knowing your equipment, but also knowing your environment and knowing what you're getting yourself into before you're there 
and you're wishing you had something else. So remember, move around, be personable, talk with your subjects, and let them know what you're trying to achieve because at the end of the day, they're the ones you're taking a photo of.